This is Liberty. Hello. And this is Milo. Hello. <laughs> Have you washed your hands, guys? Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. We're going to teach you different ways to chop. You'll need a chopping board, scissors, a sharp knife, a beaker, and a cutlery knife and fork. The reasons we chop things is to make them smaller. This is because we can cook it more quickly and it's easy to eat and sometimes it makes it look a bit nicer as well. What we're going to do today, Milo, is get you to chop some strawberries. This is a really good technique for smaller children to allow them to have some stability when they're cutting. You hold the fork through the actual fruit. This is called a fork secure technique. So we're going to use a cutlery knife to cut through this strawberry with Milo. We've used the fork and its prongs as a really good guide to help cut through and slice them into even pieces. Well done Milo, you did that really well. Can I get you to do another one? I'm going to leave you to do this one so you know how to stab it. Stab ya. That's a good boy. I think you're a pro. Well done Milo. So whilst Milo's chopping through the strawberries, I'm going to show you with Liberty how to chop a pepper. It's really two very important techniques when you're chopping. There's a hold called the bridge and another one called the claw. These are really good ways of cutting safely. We're going to have to use a bridge technique, which is basically using a tunnel shape over the top of the pepper, like this, with your thumb behind to take off the bottom. If an item of food's not even in shape, it's better to chop off the bottom. We don't want it rocking and rolling on the surface of the chopping board, obviously accidents could happen. And turn it over, and then I'm going to get Liberty to show you how to use the claw. You need to make a claw like this, then put it on the food when you're going to chop it like this. Well done, Liberty, fantastic. Keep your fingers close together. It's a bit like a bear claw, like that. It keeps your fingers away from the knife, but lets you actually hold the item in place whilst you use the knife to slice down. That's it. Oh wow, you're a professional on this, Liberty. Have you done it before? Can you keep going round for me? If you just do a little quarter turn again, take that side off for me. We're going to discard all the bits to the side and I'm going to get Liberty to use the claw again to hold the pepper in place and then slice them into strips. Milo, I'm going to get you to change your job now because I need you to do some strips with some scissors. Do you think you could do that for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So we move the strawberries to the side. That's it, you know how to use a pair of scissors, Milo. I'd like nice thin strips, please, ready for our hummus. Yes. Hummus. Scissors are a really good way of actually snipping strips into smaller pieces. You can put them then into a pasta sauce or a lasagna. He's a biggie. He's a biggie. Milo, I'm going to get you to do some herbs for me because you're so good with those scissors. Ah, he escaped. Did he? Did he fall down? I'm going to put some herbs in a pot. This is a great little tip for anybody who wants to chop herbs safely, because herbs are really tricky, aren't they, actually? You want to get them even, or you, you don't want to make a mess everywhere, so you get a plastic beaker, a pair of scissors, and then you can chop down and break them up there with the go. scissors, and it's almost like a blender effect, because the more chopping you do in it, the finer they become, and the prettier they are. Oh, well done, Liberty. Look at those pieces. It'd be great on top of a pizza, actually, when you're cutting little snips like this. Always keep your attention on the food you're chopping. It's really important to concentrate so you don't accidentally cut yourself. Liberty Milo, that was some fantastic chopping, I have to say. What was your favourite thing to do, Liberty? The claw. To use the claw. Milo, what was your favourite thing to chop? Chopping all these. Well, you did do it very well. Thank you very much. Say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye. Bye!